Well, when most of us think of falling in love, we may think of holding hands, sweet kisses, maybe a long walk around Wascana Lake. But what if there's no dating involved? In many other parts of the world, love is a learned behavior. And as Saskatchewan's population changes, so must our understanding of arranged marriage. Uh, that's what Lenthi and Bilky Cataville got. That's how you guys got married. And they're newcomers to Saskatchewan. Lenthi grew up in Toronto, and Bilky grew up in the Middle East. And now you guys are married. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Um, Bilky, how does this whole arranged marriage work? Um, it's actually, um, you know, a group process where your parents are involved and everybody has a demand as to what they want and uh, how their son-in-law has to be and then they ask me how my partner has to be and then when all the uh, desires meet together, uh, we finally find someone and things click. We have a match. And yeah, we get a match and we get married. Now, let's see, you grew up in Canada. Um, was this something that was forced on you, this type of idea, or did you have the option to date the North American way? Well, it wasn't really discussed, so <laughs> I had to end up making my own decisions. Um, yeah, I, I, I suppose I saw both sides of the coin because I was born and raised here. And then, um, and then when I saw Bilkey, I, I decided to go with it because it was it was seemed to be perfect for me so yeah. so how did this work so they found out you know that you guys had similar characteristics you liked what you liked were similar you know how did you guys get to know each other then how where does it go from there well I think this is what's considered like an introductory arranged marriage where the parents see someone and then they introduce us and so we probably talked for about three months before we decided to meet via phone and that's when we start. That's when we start asking each other questions to see if, if we have things in common and if it works out. And so, Bilky, after three months, after three months, we saw. Um, and after five days, we got married. And after five days, you got married after you saw each other for the first time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tell me what your first thought of uh, Lenzi was. Um, he came to me uh, as a very confident, um, and you know, I like the way he talked, and he was a very good listener because I have the habit of going on talking and talking and talking <laughs> and he was a very good listener so I felt you know yeah it could be a good match and uh, the values that he believed in um, it was pretty much the way that I believed too so I felt you know some core matters we were on the same line we were in sync and I liked all I mean I liked his characteristics you know and um, he, very confident individual which really I really liked and I was like okay I think this is the guy. <laughs> and see, obviously your marriage has been working so far. You know, um, you know, what would you say to people that say, you don't even know each other. How, you know, how do you do this? Um, well, it's quite frankly very similar to a third-party website who takes attributes and matches you, except in this case it's your family. So there is a certain sense that it does work, and we have a choice in the end. I mean, I think Bilky went through several suitors, <laughs> uh, and she said no to a whole bunch. <laughs> so I guess I don't know if I'm lucky or unlucky, but but it uh, it's not that difficult if you, if you really think about it. In a way, it's sort of done already. So yeah. Bilky, what's the best thing about the arranged marriage system in your mind? I think um, it's it's this place where everybody's happy. Your parents are happy because they approve of who you want to be with for the rest of your life. You go in with their blessings and it's, um, you know, you're not under so much pressure. Like, uh, I don't have to prove how good he is to my parents because yeah. they brought them, right? So I think it's more easy and um, it, it's, it's an adventure. You are, you know, going in, uh, trusting whatever you have in your guts and Maybe Christmas and Easter holidays and all those family occasions are a little bit easier, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Th those are always easy, I, at least for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for coming in today and kind of giving us an understanding of what it's like.